Welcome to the spoken tutorial on git checkout command. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add multiple files to git repository, remove a file from git repository, restore the removed file, discard the changes made to a file, and revert to an earlier revision. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04, Git 2.3.2 and Gedit Text Editor. You can use any editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you must have knowledge of running Linux commands on terminal. If not, for relevant Linux tutorials, please visit our website. Now, let us see how to add multiple files to the Git repository. Press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal. We will go into our git repository my web page which we created earlier. Type cd space my web page and press enter. I will continue to use html files for demonstration. You may use any file type of your choice. We will create two html files now. So type gedit space mystory.html space mynovel.html space ampersand. We use the ampersand to free up the prompt. Press enter. I will copy and paste some code into these files from my writer document which I had saved earlier. Let us save these files. In the terminal, first check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. It shows two untracked files. We will now add the untracked files for tracking. Type git space add space dot and press enter. The git add dot command will add all the untracked files to the staging area. Hence the two files mystory.html and mynovel.html are added to the staging area. Let's check the git status once again by typing git space status and press enter. Now we can see that both of our files have been added to the staging area of the git repository. Let us switch back to our files mystory.html and mynovel.html. Now we will add a few more lines of code to both these files. Like before, I will copy paste from my writer document. Once again, save and close the files. Let us check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. It shows changes not staged for commit and modified mynovel.html and mystory.html. This means that the changes we made have not been added to the staging area. Let us now commit our work at this point. So type git space commit space hyphen a space hyphen m space within double quotes added two files and press enter. Note that we didn't add the modified files to the staging area before committing them and the editor also didn't open up for committing message as we saw in earlier tutorial. This is because here we have used iPhone A and iPhone M flags. So what are these flags for? Switch back to our slides. iPhone A flag is used to add all the modified files to the staging area. When we use iPhone A flag, we don't need git add command separately to add the modified files to the staging area. iPhone M flag is used to give commit message in the command line itself. We can use the flags iPhone A and iPhone M as iPhone AM. Switch back to the terminal. Check the git log by typing git space log and press enter. You can see the list of commits. Note that the latest commits are listed first. 
which means the commits are listed in chronological order. In case you have added a wrong file to the git repository, it can be easily removed. Say, for example, I want to remove the file mypage.html. Type git space rm space hyphen hyphen cached space mypage.html and press enter. This command will remove the file mypage.html from the staging area. We will check the git status now by typing git space status and press enter. It says that the file mypage.html is untracked. Now we can delete the file from file system by typing rm space mypage.html and press enter. This command would completely remove the file from my webpage folder. Now we will check whether the file has been removed from the git repository. So type git space status and press enter. It shows the message deleted mypage.html. Now list the files by typing ls and press enter. Here we cannot see the file mypage.html anymore as it has been deleted. At this point let us freeze our code. To commit type git space commit space hyphen am space within double quotes deleted mypage.html and press enter. Let us see the git log by typing git space log and press enter. Press Q key on your keyboard to exit. Here we can find the latest commit by reading the commit message. Now suppose that we have deleted mypage.html by mistake and now we want to restore it back. What can we do? We can restore the deleted file from the previous commits. Let's restore our file from the second commit which has the commit message added to files. Select the first five digits of the second commit hash and press Ctrl Shift C keys to copy them. The first five digits are sufficient. But you can copy more than five digits also if you wish to. Type git space checkout space and press Ctrl Shift V keys to paste the commit hash. Now type the file name mypage.html and press enter. Check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. Now you can see the file mypage.html. Let us commit our work at this point. Note that it is very important to commit our work whenever we add or delete any file. Type git space commit space hyphen am space restored mypage.html and press enter. Now list the files by typing ls and press enter. We can see that our file mypage.html is restored. Next, we will see how to discard the changes made to a file. Open the files by typing gedit space mypage.html space mystory.html space ampersand and press enter. We will do some modifications in mypage.html and mystory.html. Let us add and delete some lines in both the files. Then save and close the files. In certain situations, we may not want to continue with these changes. That means we want to go back to the previous stage of our work. Let us learn how to do it. First, we will check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. It says that some files have been modified. Now type git space checkout space dot and press enter. This command will delete the latest changes of our work. Check the git status by typing git space status and press enter. It says nothing to commit. Let us check the files to see whether the changes are still there or not. Type 
gedit space mypage.html space mystory.html space ampersand and press enter. We can see that our modifications have been discarded. Close the files. Now let us check the git log by typing git space log and press enter. It shows list of commits. Press down arrow key to see more. Press Q key on your keyboard to exit. If you want to see the commits list in one line, type git space log space hyphen hyphen one line and press enter. Here you can see the commits list with their commit hash and commit messages in one line. How can we go to a previous revision of our work? Currently we have four commits in our repository. Which means we have four revisions of our work. Say we want to go back to the initial commit stage. So type git space checkout space then copy and paste the commit hash of the initial commit and press enter. List the files by typing ls and press enter. We can see only one file mypage.html here because in this stage we had only this file. Now check the git log by typing git space log and press enter. We can see the first commit only that is the initial commit. To return back to the current revision, type git space checkout space master and press enter. We will learn more about the term master in future tutorials. Let's check the git log once again by typing git space log space hyphen hyphen one line and press enter. Now you can see all four commits. So we are now at the latest stage. In this manner, we can go back to any stage of our work. There is another way to go to the old revision. Type git space reset space hyphen hyphen hard. Then copy and paste the commit hash of the initial commit and press enter. Check the git log by typing git space log and press enter. It shows that we are now at the initial commit stage. Now let's try to go back to the latest revision. Like before, type git space checkout space master and press enter. We are unable to go back to the latest revision. Instead, we get a message already on master. It means this is our latest revision. So note, once we use the command git reset hyphen hyphen hard, we cannot go back to the latest stage. So we should be very careful with this command. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to add multiple files to git repository, remove a file from git repository, restore the removed file, discard the changes made to a file, and revert to an earlier revision. As an assignment, go to your git repository which you created in the previous tutorial assignment, do some modifications in your text file, commit the changes, try to revert to your old revision, again do some modifications in your text file, and try to discard the changes. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the following link. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.